My name is Jamie Sloan and I am a graduate student here at EIU studying to be a dietitian. I'm here today to talk to you about diverticulitis. Um, in 2002, there were actually 3,000 deaths in the United States alone associated with diverticulitis. Diverticulitis is actually infection or inflammation of the diverticula, which are small bulging pouches that can develop in your colon because of built up pressure. Typical symptoms of diverticulitis include um, sudden severe pain in your left side, fever, nausea, vomiting, constipation, and diarrhea. There are four main risk factors you should know about for di diverticulitis. One is if you're 40 years of age or older, you're actually at more risk. If you don't exercise on a regular basis, if you are overweight or obese, and finally, if you consume a diet that's low in fiber. There is hope though, because um, with just a few simple changes, you can lower your risk of developing diverticulitis. So um, the main recommendations are to consume adequate, adequate amounts of water on a daily basis. Um, this will help regulate your digestion. Um, try to exercise on most days. This will also help reduce that pressure that can build up in your colon. And finally, increase your fiber intake. This is very important. The American Dietetic Association recommends you consume 20 to 35 grams of fiber each day. Good sources of fiber in the diet include fruits and vegetables. Beans are a really good source. Um, with black beans, a half a cup actually equals seven grams of fiber, which is a great source. And then there's also whole grain products like breads, pastas, and cereals. Um, high fiber recipes can be found in various cookbooks, and there's also plenty of recipes online. Today, I'm actually gonna show you how to make a peach raspberry crumble that I found online, actually. Um, very easy to make, and actually, per serving, it has five grams of fiber. So we'll just go ahead and jump right in. Um, I've got my fruit ready here. Basically, you need an eight by eight baking dish like this. Just need a little cooking spray. So get that ready to go. And we'll go ahead and get our fruit ready. In here I have about a pound of sliced peaches and a half a cup of raspberries. So kind of just mix those up and you need to add, this is a tablespoon of sugar, just kind of coat it in there. And then just like a half a tablespoon of some lemon juice to add with the fruit. As you can see, you've got some good color going on. Um, Feel free, this is frozen fruit, but with summer approaching, there's gonna be a lot of fresh fruits, fruits available, so take advantage of the fruits that you have access to. All right, so once you have your fruit ready to go, just go ahead and pour it right into your baking dish. Get all that stuff. All right, and just kinda make sure it coats the bottom of the pan. And this will go into the oven a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes. So we'll just pretend that's baking while we do our topping. So I already pre-mixed the topping here. Um, in here we have a third cup um, of whole wheat flour. Be sure to get the whole wheat flour and not the all-purpose flour because whole wheat is higher in that fiber, which we're looking for. Um, there also is a fourth a cup of rolled oats like you can see here. And I know there's instant available, but go for the, the rolled oats because those are higher in fiber as well. And we also have a fourth cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of some cinnamon and a pinch of salt in here. And basically the next step is to get, this is like a half a tablespoon of some butter. We're just gonna throw that in with the, our dry ingredients. And kind of just try and coat the oats and other dry ingredients as best we can. So once that butter melts in the oven, it's gonna get a nice brown. You might need to use your fingers to do, to do this, but I won't do that today. So once that's ready, we'll pretend that this is baked for the 20 minutes. We're just gonna combine that topping onto our fruit. Just make sure it kinda coats it evenly, like so. There we go. Can we see that? Um, once you have that, um, I'd recommend doing like some almonds or some walnuts on top. So just sprinkle however many you want on top, just like that. Kind of adds a different texture. And then this will go back into the oven um, for 20 to 25 minutes or so until that topping or the fruit starts to bubble up a little bit. 
So as you can see, um, increasing your fiber intake doesn't have to be bull, dull and boring. You can find lots of recipes online to help you increase your fiber intake and take advantage of the fruits that are available this summer. Um, I'd recommend increasing your fiber intake to that 20 to 35 grams each day. Um, and you're well on your way to um, improving your overall health and decreasing your risk of diverticulitis. So once again, I'm Jamie and thanks for watching.